Hello everyone. I thought I was totally on top of it today until I came in my laundry room. <laughs> I have two loads of whites. I got one in here, one in there, our sheets, a load of the little kids laundry, that's normal. I guess this is done. Then this load in here, which I'm not sure why these were put in together. I put them in there last night. Okay, well. Okay, so here's the thing. At 11 o'clock last night, Ashley started crying, came out of her room, and said that there's slime all over everything, every piece of bedding she had. Except sheets, because they don't like sheets. So I guess that's a good thing. But unfortunately, we washed them last night when I know from... I washed them last night. I know. From washing this mermaid tail two nights ago, which is where it started, it, the slime doesn't come out. So it's still right here. Still somewhat gooey. So now I need to Google how to get slime out of fabric because that's what I want to do on top of all the other laundry. And I need to get it done today, which is Friday, because tomorrow is Halloween. No, we're not doing a whole lot for Halloween. We are with a small group of kids and we have family pictures on Sunday. So I've got to get this laundry done. And now I've got like even more to figure out with all of this stuff, which is just annoying. And it was a lot of tears last night. And then right when we got Ashley all settled in bed, she got a bloody nose uh, on the white duvet that she sleeps on when there's no cover on it. <laughs> so I'm like, ah. All right, but Jason and I had plans to run up some errands really quick. So I'm gonna hurry and get a load started. Cause you know me, if laundry is running, I feel like a task is being done. So, let's at least get a load started. All right, that's the best I can do right now. Got a quick load of the whites. I might have one of the kids come move that and put these whites in. That's folded, done laundry. That's kids laundry plus huge <laughs> cozy outfits. There's nothing in the dryer and I have a bunch of socks and I don't think there's any more underwear in here. Usually I sort the underwear pretty quick. I'll do that when I get home. And this all right here is a fun surprise for next week. It's going to be fun. And I'm going to deal with that pile later. Will you help me Google how to get slime out of fabric? <laughs> Are you driving or am I? Whatever. You drive there, I drive back. Well, that's because you want to coat. I know. <laughs> all right, so a little behind the scenes for another video. I am trying to go to a new Target location today because I've got about... Oh, there's music, hang on. Okay, so we're trying to go to a new Target location because I'm trying to film a video of Target Christmas stuff. And I've already filmed some stuff and I already bought one thing, but I've already seen on other videos the other things that I wanna get. I'm trying to find another location because our Target, as much as I love it, it just is not good. They just are not good at getting Christmas out. They weren't good at getting Halloween stuff out and the supplies are not good. I don't know why. It's such a big target, but I don't know. I've actually wanted to ask my friend who's an HR manager there, like what the deal is with that because it's like, it's really bad. And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go to a new location, see if I can find the stuff I want and then I'll be able to get that video done. And then um, I think we only need milk from Costco. So I might just get Pumpkin milk. Pie. Oh, and pumpkin pie. I was like, do we have to go to Costco today? I'm trying to hold off and have his dad go to Costco for us on Tuesday because I need some stuff for election day, which is Tuesday. Can you slow down? I am. Oh, my crap. <laughs> oh, please. That was like I, super Jason, easy. I don't have a hand to hold oh, on. I don't need a hand. That was ridiculous. Core strength. You need you, to work on your core strength. You, <laughs> you gasped it through that light. That's because I didn't want to miss you, the green. <sighs> I'm, I did not gas it. You did I too. It and then I would just rolled through. I was not gassing. I wish my camera had been turned the other direction. That was not an exaggeration. One, I didn't have a hand to oh, hold on geez. to anything. And two, that was that was me flying through the intersection. <laughs> All right, mission accomplished. I have a little load. Jason's talking to himself. We haven't decided if we're going home yet. I'm talking to traffic, thank you. Yeah, which is talking to yourself because they can't hear you. <laughs> anyway, 
He's in a snarky mood. I'm in a snarky mood. I am not in a snarky mood. You are too. You no. are, even told me earlier today what? that you were doing and saying things just to rile me up. Well, that was that one thing just to give you a hard time. But it was a lie. That's not snarky. And you, okay, whatever. That's just to give you a hard time. But I paid. don't like people lying. It wasn't That's not lying. being snarky. <laughs> I said you slept in. And I didn't sleep in. I was awake for a half hour before he was. See, I don't appreciate liars. <laughs> Stop. And if you are not aware of our political sleep in. situation right now, you'll know who I'm voting for. But um, we, neither of us want to actually go home yet. Because <laughs> by the time we get home, the kids will be off playing for recess and there won't be anything to do, I guess. Okay, we're trying to figure out what what we do. We still have to go get his beloved pumpkin pie. No, Abby you ate... don't get any pumpkin pie. I don't eat it. Okay, fine. I don't eat the pumpkin pie. Thank you very much. I buy it for you. I bought the one. I bought the largest one we just ate in one day. That was Abby and Ashley. They ate tons, those girls. Regardless, I didn't have any of it. So, I'm not buying it for myself. Oh, do you guys, I don't know if you like our banter. It drives me nuts. <laughs> but maybe it's entertaining for you guys, as long as we're not actually fighting. But. I will have a fun Target video coming out soon. Uh, maybe even before. No, I'll put it up after this video. Um, one thing I did get that is kind of fun, and Ashley won't see this in, she doesn't watch the videos. Battery splashing. So I got her these leggings, or these knee highs, They're to cute. go with our family pictures. She's just wearing a dress, a long dress, but I wanted some other like layer underneath her. And then I got her these. <laughs> I think it's so ridiculous. They're unicorn socks with like, the mane is like totally loose. I'm gonna save that one for Christmas. All right, that cut out on me. Check it out, it's meant to be. There is zero, we've never, we have never pulled up to Chick-fil-A like this. I, never since they opened, ever. Move forward, buddy. I mean, there's three lanes and they're totally open. They're moving forward. I mean, check this out. We, you saw. We literally just pulled in here. This is epic. Well, why are we going? Here? So nice. We're just here for frozen lemonades too. Check it out. We got a little gift card for next time. Oh gosh, Jason. Dude, it's the curb. I got. I turn. know. I can't see other cars coming. Okay, whatever. I got a free gift card and we got frozen lemonades and I couldn't resist the uh, french fries. Look who snuck something in to the shop or the cop. I had no it. idea it was in there. None. <laughs> he totally snuck it in. I found it. And we're getting to one toilet paper. I'm trying to get it one every time Jason comes with me so we can stock up on it again. And we got some bubbly. That's for a future party day. Now we get to help a car that's completely stuck in the road. Yay, we got her. Her husband came and got her gas. <laughs> We've been here for about 10, 15 minutes, but you were gonna help push her, but she couldn't get into gear, right? All right. <laughs> we had two batteries that were dead, but they had like little bits of battery left and things kept happening while we were out and about. First of which, if you're, that was kind of confusing because they kept dying. Jason snuck in some s'mores. <laughs> and, okay, we're having problems with my batteries. Oh, bloody. Okay, I think I found a good battery. This is the fourth battery I've tested. We had two in the car that I was able to get like little snippets, but then I kept getting cut off and things kept happening. So I kept having to film. <laughs> so first of all, I have to be quiet because the kids are on calls. I've already gotten shushed. You already have them? <laughs> Okay, first of all, if that didn't make sense, he snuck in the s'mores. Where is it, Art? You already hit it? I already know you bought it. I didn't hide it. They're in plain sight. You just gotta look. And it doesn't matter. I have them. Where is it? I don't even understand. Where are they? They're on the counter right over there. Where? They were in the cart. You looked directly at them. I know they're in the cart. There. Oh, they're right there. They're right here. Okay. I'll go in here. Because then, as soon as we left Costco, this lady ahead of us, I'm gonna shut my door, because the girls are on their calls. 
then the lady ahead of us, her car died as we were kind of coming around the corner from Costco. And we just felt bad because she had one car length behind her on a turn. Like, people just, I don't know, from, anyway, she had like one car length behind her and it's just a busy intersection and everyone kept pulling in behind her and getting stuck. And so we pulled in behind her and turned our hazard lights on as well so that no one could turn into that lane and, and they couldn't bother her. And then we got out to try and help her and try and push her if we could just get her car into neutral. But with all these new electric cars and the push start, you couldn't even get it into neutral because the car was like dead. We thought it was like dead dead, but it was just ended up being out of gas. So Jason stuck around in case she actually didn't know if it was the gas because she saw the light on and then it died. And so she wasn't positive. Her husband brought gas, but just in case that didn't work, Jason stuck around to help the husband push it off to the side of the road, but ended up being fine. So anyway, I've got a lot of stuff I got to do, including a Target haul video, but what I'm tempted to do is give these to Ashley right now. Look, you guys, I didn't really get to show you these in the car because, my, again, my battery died. I mean, seriously, should I let her wear these in the family photos? And you guys won't be able to tell me <laughs> at a time. I think these sneaking out of her dress will be so funny and such personality for her. I'm, I think I'm going to let her because it's just, it's too much. And I think it'd be so cute. So cute. But I also have to prep for Halloween parties that we're doing for the kids tomorrow. Um, it's a thing. Maybe when they're done with their calls, we can talk with, them, talk with them about it. And they can help explain what we're doing for them for Halloween. We have to do things differently. But I still want them to feel like they're getting a Halloween. My phone is blowing up. And I have no idea why. <sighs> Never ends. Yes? Mm. Did Daddy share his snack with you? Mm -hmm. I can tell because there's chocolate on your lips. <laughs> uh, did you see my gift to you today? Yeah. Go get him. Bring him here. I couldn't resist, you guys. I had to show her. I just filmed a Target video, so I'm sitting in front of a window. Um, but what do you think, Ash? I don't know what they are. You don't know what they are? Okay, show me the socks. Hold still. <laughs> She is really awesome. I think it's so cute. It won't really show a ton underneath the dress that you're wearing for yeah. our pictures. But I think it's kind of like a peekaboo. Our, our people here on our channel will know what that little sparkle of pink is underneath your dress. <laughs> Do you like them? Yeah. <laughs> Chelsea doesn't get it because she's not a unicorn, pink frilly kind of a girl. I like this, but I like the little stuff at the end. Well, you're never going to wear shoes over them. Yeah. So I think it's cute. Okay. You probably still have homework to do before your Friday. next call. Okay. Go work with that on it today. I'm off limits. I got to do the scare video. It has to come out tomorrow. I was oh. too close to scaring you. Oh. So they kept trying to scare me last night because I ended up just watching TV from my phone from bed last night so that Jason could have the TV. And they kept trying to sneak in and <laughs> scare me, but they would like scoot across the carpet and you could hear them. And I then they'd bump into the dresser and you'd hear that and something would topple over. I couldn't see though. I know. <laughs> the mask was way too big and I couldn't see. You're wearing a mask, right? You're wearing dad's scary mask. Yeah. He just, he's not a good at, at, as good at this as I am. Yeah. He has one more night and then the video goes up tomorrow. I know, but the video is supposed to go up tomorrow morning, so I don't think we're going to be able to get him. Not tomorrow morning, but like tonight or something. Uh, if I can get him scared tonight, I'll, I'll add one more tonight. But otherwise, it's getting edited mm -hmm. right now so that you guys can see this on Halloween Day. And I normally don't post on Saturdays, but I want you guys to have fun on, with our scare video on Halloween. All right, I have been working on the clues for our Halloween scavenger hunt. I've got some of them right here. And I wish I had learned this a long time ago with my kids. Take a piece of paper, laminate it, turns into a whiteboard. <laughs> so I'm making clues. There's 10 clues for the scavenger hunt for my girls. We are not doing trick-or-treating in our neighborhood. And most people that I know here in Washington are not trick-or-treating. There's two states near us, <laughs> one of which where I grew up. They are doing trick-or-treating. 
amid high spiked COVID counts and hospitals full. In fact, I just found out from your dad today, he just came over and brought that product over. Yeah. That. Oh, wow, I got it? Yeah, I put it on the stairs. Oh, well, that's what that is, okay. Um, sorry, I don't know how to get your head in. I'll sorry. stand in, stand up, I guess. He said that um, hospitals in Idaho are at complete capacity. Some of the So they're fl right. life flighting them here to Washington. Oh, we're taking those dirty Idahoans. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I like Idahoans. They're not dirty, they're just not being smart right now. So we're not trick-or-treating tomorrow. I'm making a scavenger hunt and it's going to consist of 12 kids that these my girls play with. Not, they don't play with all 12 all the time. They do end up at the park sometimes with all 12 of them, but that's rare, but they do all have, Life it's life? kind of like our own little bubble. Yeah, it's a little kid bubble. So it will, this scavenger hunt will take them from house to clue to house to clue in random orders. And each house will have, I'll show you what I've put together. Each house will either have a game or an activity. My purse is actually in my room in there. A game or an activity of sorts. And then I've made little goodie bags for each kid. And I'm actually gonna leave them here on the counter overnight. No one touch them and that way they're clean, right? And then the bags were totally safe and clean. They were in my old baking box from a long time ago. Each house that the kids will end up at for the scavenger hunt is one of the kids in the group and they'll get goodie bags from every single house. So they're gonna get a lot of goodie bags. They're gonna get candy, but it'll be from these safe homes. And I think there's five how many homes are there one two three six homes so it'll be just fun so every parent is doing either an activity and a treat bag like i'm doing the scavenger hunt someone else is doing donut bobbing so that each kid is at their own stations you know six feet apart and then um at the very last home they're going to do a movie night and the mom has set up a projector screen I don't think it's gonna rain tonight which is kind of funny and interesting I'll tell you that something about that in a second so she'll do a projector screen in her backyard kind of similar to the birthday party Chelsea went to this summer where each kid will be spaced out and they sit in their own spot with their own blankets and they can watch a movie safely without you know getting any near everyone so we're trying to just make Halloween the best we can tonight. So the funny thing about Halloween this year is that it is, for us here in Washington, it's a full moon. It is not raining tonight, or it won't be raining tomorrow night. It is daylight savings time, which means, and now we don't go to church physically, so we can sleep in instead of having to like adjust with the time. And what else? It's just like, it's like everything that could possibly be perfect for a Halloween and it happens in 2020. <laughs> We're like, no, we have extra light with the full moon. We have no rain. It's not going to be freezing cold, you know, and whatever. And it's on a Saturday. Oh, that was the other one. It's on a Saturday. And yet none of that matters because it's 2020. I am actually just, I just got roped into going to a ha the haunted house tonight. <laughs> it's the last night and I asked the host, my friend, if I could film it. I haven't actually heard back from her, but my other friend saw me comment like, can I please come and film it? It's the last night. I promise I won't share it until after, you know, it's over. And cause I won't even have time to edit it until Sunday. Um, but anyway, so <laughs> my friend Dallas, she doesn't mind being on YouTube. <laughs> So she's like, come with me. I love watching people get scared in haunted houses. So Jason's gonna go set that up in just a little bit here. And I'm gonna go through and bring you guys with me. And I hate haunted houses with a passion. So that's where you're gonna see us next. I'm gonna keep working on this. Stay tuned, because we're gonna go to a haunted house tonight. Like later tonight. All right, we're already doing a spooky <laughs> lighting on my way over to this haunted house. I'm actually like scared. Jason just wanted to know when I'm gonna be there and I know he's gonna pay me back for all the times I've scared him this month. So I'm kind of worried about it, but 
my friend, like I said, is gonna go through with me and she likes to actually be on YouTube. So that will be fun because I don't have many friends who are willing to be fat filmed. So wish me luck. And I'm gonna actually, uh, we'll see how much of a, well, let's just, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully I don't beat my pants. <laughs> Oh crap, oh, I, I, I don't know if I want to go in here. <laughs> Jason's gonna get me so bad. <laughs> yeah, okay. What is this bathroom? No, 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 no. Get back. How do we go through? Get back. Get back. <laughs> ah! Get back. I got it. Hold on, I'm about to lose you. No, 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 what is this? <sighs> don't, don't follow me. Ah! Oh, crap. This is the mistake. Uh, okay, this is the biggest all. mistake. Oh. <laughs> abandon all hope, yes. Oh. Somebody's... Ah! Go away! Go away!